Hey, I'm Ron Tomias here. Welcome to another Nikkei video. So after a full day of playing Nikkei, you might find yourself stuck in terms of progression or story mode. So here I am with the top five tricks for you to get past that wall. And uh, a bit of a background from me, I am an official partnered content creator for Nikkei. So I've played the early access content creator uh, server as well as CBT1, CBT2. So hopefully my advice and knowledge will be able to assist you get further through the game. And if you check my channel, uh, I have a lot of guides. I released about 20 and most of your questions that you're going to have will be answered in those videos. So let's talk about progression. So one thing that people don't 100% know is that you can actually just collect a lot of resources uh, after you've progressed through, let's say, a, um, a few map or two. You can go to your dailies, weekly main and collect all the, uh, the resources from here. They contain credits, datas, and also from the challenge. Okay, it's going to allow you to get a lot of good stuff that you'll be able to use and upgrade your Nikkei's. Okay. And speaking about upgrades, one mistake that I feel people make, so this is tip number two, is that they upgrade all the units equally. What you want to do actually is focus on your main damage dealer because they're the ones that are going to clear all the um, mobs and having, you know, a tank who's super, super tanky, but not they don't deal much damage is not going to be very helpful. So you want to level your damage dealers and uh, they will reach a level where it's going to ask you to level other units. Then you go back to the other units and level them up. Uh, for example, I have to make all of them 40 before I can level Scarlet uh, past level 60. So that's when you level the other units because your main damage dealer is going to be key. So that's the second tip. So after that, what you can also do is try other game modes. All right. Trying other game modes, you go to the arc and there are other game modes such as uh, the Lost Sector, uh, the Tribe Tower, and Simulation, they all drop stuff that will be very, very helpful to you. And um, having those resources, especially in the Tribe Tower, people don't realize, as you climb higher and higher, uh, you actually get the Core Dust, you get Credit, and you get Gems for you to either pull or progress further. So make sure that you collect those resources. It's going to be the same as collecting from your outpost. So this is similar, I guess, to the first one where you're collecting resources from achievement. Make sure you're collecting all these goodies from your outpost. And if you're truly stuck, you can also use wipeout. Uh, you get free wipeout attempts. And after a while, you'll be able to spend gems to do that. If you're free to play, I don't recommend you spending a lot of wipeout gems. Uh, but if you are a whale, it's not a bad way to uh, to propel your progress. Okay, so two other things that can help you push your um, progress further. We talked about how you don't want to upgrade uh, any units other than your attacker. So what if you already did? Or what if you pull someone, let's say you pulled Scarlet um, after you've already invested in Privity or your Rappi. In this game, you can always reset the amount of investment you've um, invested in any character, except for the skills, right? So you can reset the unit for just 10 gems back to level one and all the resources you've used, okay, will come back to you. So now my Scarlet is at level one. And if I want to upgrade, she'll be at the same level back again. Well, I, I picked up some um, additional resources, but she will go to 69 instead of 71. So it's okay to invest in some other units early on if you are trying to, you know, find a damage dealer or something to um, to go through the initial stages and then you pull something or someone really, really strong. You can reset the investment and put it on the uh, unit that you just pulled. And lastly, and I would say arguably more importantly, is if you're stuck, try manual. There are two aspects in manual that uh, people don't really know about but i'll show you right now in the stage okay so right now i'm underpowered and there are a couple of things you can do in manual first of all when you're fighting bosses make sure you're targeting their weak points all right there are some stages uh for example chapter five where in the fights you really want to target the weak points of the bosses it's very very key and crucial that you do that so you turn off the top right aim manual because it sometimes snaps on the auto aim and it screws up your aim as well. So make sure you turn that off. 
And one other thing is when you're fighting against some of these bosses, you can actually dodge a lot of the damage. So I'll wait for a good demonstration. When they're using projectiles, you'll be able to enter cover by double tapping your units and you can enter the, um, the dodge. So I have the key bind below and I'll find a time where they're attacking with projectiles and I'll show you. So here are the projectiles and I'm just going to double tap and see all of my units are covered. Uh, because this attack is too strong, it's actually going to kill all my units. But because my units are covered, normally um, the damage will go to the cover instead of the unit. And that's how you can progress through some of the stages. Of course, if you're too part far behind in terms of um, your gears, your levels, and this won't matter. But if you find yourself very, very close, you can use covers to advantage. You can use manual play to advantage. You can delay some of your bursts to time the um, burst against the bosses. Okay, so that um, when you're using AOE or mob clearing skills, you're using it when uh, they're the most uh, effective. So with these set, again, you must collect resources that are available to you. Some people forget. Make sure you invest in your attacker first and bring the other units along uh, as you are level capped and um, try some manual play. Those are the top five tips altogether that hopefully help you uh, progress through the game further. As you can see, I'm currently in stage 6-6. Six, six. I've hit a small wall and I'm going to use the tips I've provided to myself to upgrade and go from there. All right. And thanks guys for tuning in. I'll have more guys coming up and I'll see you guys in the next video.